So interesting. So if you're a parent and you follow the F goals diet that you lay out in your book, the interesting thing I find is if you're a mother and you're having a child, you're then going to pass on some of your microbiome to that child. And, and also, I was reading about that mice study conducted um, that shows how the Western diet induces a loss of microbial diversity that can compound over a series of generations. Yeah, that was a Justin Sonnenberg study. So Justin Sonnenberg is a guy that I'm a big fan of. He's out in Stanford, and he actually um, wrote a blurb on my first book, Fiber Field. And so... Um, the issue is that we want to understand microbial loss that can occur over generations because clearly our generation is different than our grandparents. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to do with humans because it takes us like, you know, these days 30 or more years to create a new generation. So, but with mice, you can do this very quickly. Mm -hmm. So he basically started off with mice with a certain level of microbial diversity. Um, the diversity of the microbiome is a measure of the health of their microbiome. And then he saw what happened with a low fiber diet. And so basically what he saw is that if you put them on a low fiber diet, that mouse will start to lose diversity. And then it will transfer that onto its offspring. And then that offspring who's still on a low fiber diet continues to lose diversity and transfer that onto their offspring and so on. And what he found was that if during this process you intervene and you add back the fiber, you can actually restore on some level the diversity within the microbiome. You can wake them back up. They can come back. But the issue is you won't get all the way back to the starting point. So there is a certain level of loss that has taken place as a result of those choices that were occurring over generations. If your grandmother has 1,200 species of microbes in her gut as a child, but by the time your mother was born, she had 900, that's what your mother got. Yep. Then if your mother loses 300 species in her microbiome, now you start off with 600 half of what your grandmother originally had. Right. And at Crazy. some point, the loss of those species becomes problematic because um, each of those species is there with a purpose. We evolved to have them. And when they're absent, they're not able to do their job. And the other microbes may not be able to step up to actually do what's the job of what's missing. It's just such a great case that, you know, keeping ourselves healthy is keeping our children healthy as well. In many respects, 